Hey guys and welcome back to another one. Now I just finished my latest do-it-yourself project and as you may have seen on the thumbnail or on the title it's regarding a digital photo frame. So with no further ado, let's go for it. And this video is sponsored by NordVPN, a VPN service available for almost any platform with servers in 56 countries at an affordable price. Check out the link below for more details. And we are back. So guys, really simple project here and there are several reasons that we might want to do a digital photo frame. Now really quickly I can remind of if we have any old tablet that we don't use anymore then this is a really nice way of using a tablet without spending too much because this is a cheap project and all we need is a tablet of course which is the most expensive item but there are several reasons. In my particular case I will towards the end explain a little bit better why it's not only cosmetic but also useful for something else which is our CCTV system but I will give you more details on that. Now what we will need for this particular project is a tablet of course at your choice, Android, Windows or anything else that you use. Also we will need the photo frame and of course being a little bit bigger than the tablet so that we can fit it well. I also bought some double-sided tape but I was thinking about when I finished the project that I could also use uh, Velcro so this is an option and finally we will use at least in my case I did use that uh, some wire gutter in my particular case the thinnest that I could get and black so it suits the uh, photo frame that we are working with. Now I did start by measuring and placing the uh, double-sided tape on the tablet itself. Sorry guys but I didn't record special nothing special right over here I was just shooting with my phone a few pictures here and there. Nonetheless I moved on and I did make sure that I would center the tablet right on the middle of that back cardboard and once I had everything ready I did remove the double-sided tape glued it together to the back of the cardboard and just as a precaution I left it on the couch for a couple of days because I was wondering if the tape was strong enough to hold the tablet. This is a really heavy tablet. By the way I will leave a link down below for my review of this particular tablet. Now next I placed the Passport 2 uh, uh, which is that white frame around the tablet and I passed the USB Type-C cable which will charge the tablet underneath the passport too. Now we will always notice a little bump there but after having the frame what I can say is that we will not look as much. We will at the beginning after that we will focus on the pictures or whatever content that we place on the tablet and that will be it. So moving on lastly all we need to do is to attach the frame itself and then pushing those back pins uh, so that we can secure it and that is it. Regarding the frame itself this is finished. Now all we need to do is to select where we want to place the frame in our home. And once we have the location decided, in this particular case me and my wife decided that we want it on the living room near the couch and next step is to drill the uh, wall. Now what I did was some measures there as you guys can see on the images, nothing special because it's just one screw. Uh, I did use my drill, made the hole and placed in the screw and that was about it. I was ready to place the uh, frame in place. Now next I had to take care of the wire because it would push the frame to the front so I drilled a little bit on the frame just enough so that I could pass the wire and it would be flush against the wall and then I had to hide the wire with that wire gutter using a black uh, gutter as you guys may see. I did glue it with hot glue just to make it a little bit secured and better uh, against the wall and that was it. What I can say is that in my opinion of course looks awesome. It's not perfect but looks awesome. Uh, we can have any slideshow moving there or any other type of content that we want but in our particular case most of the time will be for a slideshow using Kodi by the way which is one of my favorite uh, pieces of software as you guys that follow the channel know but as you can see by the images there uh, it will be a live photo frame for us that we can enjoy ourselves and one thing I can tell you that our kids uh, really love to see their pictures especially when they were younger and it looks uh, awesome in I believe any home uh, especially if we love our uh, 
picture library uh, as we do here at home. Now there are a few things that we could improve here, one of which would be obviously to remove that wire and the gutter, but in my particular case having a construction of brick and concrete it would be really messy and unnecessary. And the other one was the Velcro that I mentioned. Instead of double-sided tape, probably Velcro could be a good way to go that we can remove and place it, which I'm not thinking of moving, but these are the two things that I believe that could be improved. Now regarding the tablet choice, it's easy guys. For me, it would have to be a Windows tablet. Although I prefer Android tablets, in this particular case, I would need it to be a Windows. Not only because we wanted a slideshow, because if it was only for a slideshow, I honestly would use a Android tablet. But as you guys may recall, a few weeks ago, I did install a CCTV system here at home with four cameras and the system works better if we use Windows instead of Android. To be more clear, the app for Windows is much superior to the app uh, for Android which is which doesn't have such a good resolution. So my choice was I want to have something here on the couch that we can have not only our slideshows moving but uh, we can have also a little bit of control of what's going on around the house when the kids are playing around in one side or the other or if, if there's a neighbor ringing at the door I want to see who it is uh, before answering and so on and so forth. So a lot of uh, useful things for this particular system and this was the main reason that I've chosen a Windows tablet instead of a Android tablet. And that is it. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one.